Hello, this is Janet Michael. In addition to hosting The Valley today each weekday at noon on the River 95.3, I also produce podcasts, and I'm excited to introduce you to a new podcast series in partnership with Lord Fairfax Community College. Having provided higher education and career training for the past half century, LFCC is tightly interwoven into the fabric of the Northern Shenandoah Valley and Piedmont regions. Join me every week for conversations with current and former students to hear their funny and inspiring stories as we learn about their journey to higher education, the role that LFCC has played, where they are now, and where they plan to go. We'll also talk to current and former professors about their experiences and best memories of LFCC over the past 50 years. Get every single episode as they're released on our website at theriver953.com under the podcast tab, or you can subscribe for free in Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, on Spotify, Amazon Music, wherever you listen to podcasts. Just search for LFCC Stories. Hello and welcome to the Valley today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Happy Monday as you are listening to the show today. I've got my fun squad on the screen pre-recording with me. What better way to kick off a week than with the fun squad? That is, of course, Tony Baker, Chris Conyer, and a new addition to our fun fun squad is Sarah Young. They are all with Frederick County Parks and Rec. And spring is here, y'all. The weather is nice. Things are happening. This must be your favorite time of year. Absolutely. This is uh, definitely when we're ramping up and, um, you know, everyone's getting outside and and school's about to be out. So, you know, there's a lot to look forward to in terms of the coming months. Sarah, I would imagine that the minute the temperatures go above 72 and a half degrees, at least for me personally, you are the most popular person in and around Frederick County Parks and Rec because you're the one that you're the pool chick. You're the one that handles all of the aquatics and all of the water related things. Are you like the most popular person this time of year? It seems to be. Yeah, this is this has been a busy week for me, for sure. We're already getting drive bys by the pool. You know, we're out there painting and people are cruising by. Are you guys open yet? Not yet, but we're getting there. So when does the pool, when is it scheduled to open? We are open um, on time this year, Memorial Day, Saturday. We open at 11 a.m. for General Swim. And then what are the hours after that? Do they change or are they pretty standard until fall? We pretty much leave the general swim hours, you know, as they are. We are going to do ticketed time slots again this year. Um, We started that last year with, of course, you know, diminished capacity. And we're going to go ahead and continue that. It worked well for staffing and, you know, just for general organizational purposes. So we're going to have three time slots, um, 11 to 1. They're two-hour time periods, 11 to 1, 1 1.15 to 3.15, and 3.30 to 5.30. So, you know, as we get our capacity numbers updated, you know, we'll be packing the pool. You can open them up, open up more ticket slots, but that really does kind of make sense. Yeah, it works well. And I mean, people are, are good with the system. They're already purchasing slots. We had a, a lady and her daughter purchase all the way through mid July, (laughs) love the pool. So they're really excited. Yeah, it works well. So what else is happening pool-wise? Are you guys still doing lessons? Um, do you have teams? What? How is all of that interacting with the new COVID lessening of restrictions? Uh, we are doing our swim lesson program. It's very popular each summer. Um, we have group lessons and private lessons. Uh, we have three time periods for that. Now they run Monday through Friday this year which is good for a whole session. It's gonna be Monday through Friday. And then private lessons are of course, just individual days. But we have a 9 a.m. option, a 10 a.m. option, or a 5.45 p.m. option. And that's at both pools, Clearbrook and Sharando. Now, is that children and adults or is it one of the other? children and adults. We are in the process. I am, you know, looking for an adult swim lesson instructor, actually. We're gonna start, you know, I've got, the pulse on that. We've had some inquiries, so we're going to try to, you know, branch out and offer some adult private lessons. I know who not to get. (laughs) Exactly. That's what I was was waiting for. I was waiting for it. Here we go. Yeah. I was actually baiting you candidate. because if you said that you did adult lessons, I was going to ask how much <laughs> they are and I was going to sign Chris up for adult swim lessons. That was going to be my. <laughs> That's a great idea. Early birthday present. 
And I'm not sure I wouldn't want to do that to any instructor. You know, I, I, you know that, that, that's an awful lot. That's a big you know, piece to chew off there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Man, yeah. you're all awesome running. So how about swim team? We have swim team back. Um, we are based at Sharando this year. We don't have um, swim team at Clearbrook at the present time, uh, but Sharando, you know, more than fills the void. They're very active, very excited. We have our meet schedule already done. We're part of the Shenandoah Valley Swim League. And, you know, we do weekly meets, usually Saturdays, but we have some, you know, weekday meets as well. So it's a fun time. Um, it starts early June and runs through the end of July. Capacity restrictions are going to start to go away the end of this month. Yes. So you're kind of taking some of the pieces that you learned through the pandemic, yep. still keeping them in place because they still make sense, but yeah. everything else is kind of open and back and ready to go. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this whole year has been a learning curve, you know, for our department and just in general. Um, aquatics, of course, was different last year, but, you know, we're taking some of the things that work and and building on it and just trying to offer more and do more and branch out from there. Can I still rent the pool for a party or say uh, I want to rent the pool for a couple hours, invite some of uh, you guys to watch Chris get his swim lesson? Can I do that? <laughs> oh, yes. Rentals are, are very popular. I would say you might want to hurry if you're going to rent the pool because we've had a lot of a lot of the slots taken. Um, we do Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, Sunday night rentals. And we do seven to nine, nine to 11, or you can do the whole kit and caboodle for seven to 11. I'm thinking that's how long it's going to take to get Chris <laughs> at least to float. Yeah, you better book the seven to 11. Uh, <laughs> and then all the seven to nine just to get me in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> that's good to know. And all the other stuff is still going full, full on. I mean, you guys have the canoeing, kayaking, all of that too, right? Yes, we have two intro to kayaking classes. One's coming up um, first weekend in June. And then we have one coming up the end of August. So those are going to be held at Clearbrook Pool. And then we have something that we wanted to do last year, but we just, you know, weren't ready um, to offer that, you know, with everything going on. We have the big band pool party for active adults. And we have a group coming from Harrisonburg that's going to do some, you know, swing dancing demos. And yeah, going to be a lot of fun. The Yesterday Swing Orchestra is going to be there. That sounds like a blast. Now, how are you set for, um, and, I, and I think I've told the guys this in a previous show, my very first job ever was working for Frederick County Parks and Rec in the concession stand at the baseball fields at Clearbrook Park. Oh. very first intro to the workforce. How are you doing for, and Chris is laughing at me. How are you guys doing for needing lifeguards, needing instructors, things like that? We need some more. We would love to have some more. Um, you know, we're big on, you know, making sure we have, you know, adequate numbers for everything we want to do. And it allows us to offer more if, if we do have some more staff. So um, we're hiring lifeguards, starting pays 1050 an hour. Um, we're also hiring swim instructors, which you don't have to be a lifeguard to be a swim instructor. But of course, we, you know, ask that you know how to swim. For <laughs> participating. My but, job was not a lifeguard. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we, we definitely, you know, go to the website, check out the job listings, lifeguard swim instructors right there. Um, we can definitely use some more. If anybody's Tony, you guys are mm -hmm. looking for people across the board. I mean, this is yeah. your big hiring season anyway, isn't it? Right. Yeah. We, um, we tend to hire a lot of extra seasonal staff for in the parks. And so there are park maintenance jobs available. We have, like Sarah was saying, the lifeguards and swim instructors. We have basic rec program assistants. There's a whole variety of positions site supervisors and, you know, people to work in the community centers, those have been closed since last year and those are going to, you know, eventually reopen. So yeah, there are a, a whole list of jobs uh, that can be found at uh, fcva.us backslash jobs, or you can just go to the fcva.us uh, website, the county website, and, um, you know, go to departments and go to HR and, and you can find a whole list of of not just all of our jobs, but all of the, the jobs that are, you know, available that the county has open right now. Chris, Tony mentioned basic rec jobs are available. Mm -hmm. Do you have to be a certain age to do that? 
Yeah, you have to be 18 to work in the basic rec program. So we're looking for, uh, you know, we, we were opening, we were slated to open six locations this summer. Uh, we actually ended up adding a seven, which, you know, we need more staff, obviously. But if you're a high school senior that's interested in working with kids or maybe thinking about going into a field related to kids, such as elementary ed, those type of things, or if you're a college student, uh, and then even um, we do even have teachers that uh, that pick up a part time gig during the summer since they're off. Um, so it's a very fun environment. You know, if you enjoy working with kids, again, we have seven locations this year. Uh, the hours, you know, we open at six thirty in the morning and and, uh, and we're open till six o'clock at night. Um, so obviously to fill those, you know, those hours, we need we need good people and people that want to work with kids. So, yeah, we're looking Obviously, we would love for people to, uh, and just like Tony said, you can go to the HR website and you'll see the, the job listings there. You know, whether you want to be a lifeguard or work with kids or a uh, park ranger, I mean, there's all kinds of different uh, employment opportunities for, for everybody. But we are definitely looking. Uh, we, need, we need more people kind of across the board. Uh, and who knows, they might make a really good impression on Tony and he might let him come and replace you on the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> you would be so lucky. I know, right? We'll do but, it from the pool the next time. Yeah. There, that's <laughs> yeah. The, oh, all right. Okay, we're going to take a break so that we can work out the details for that. When we come back, we're going to talk more about the summer camps, basic rec. They've got a big event coming up July 4th. We'll do all of that in the next segment. I need to find out how we can record the next show by the pool. So hang in there. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Got a financial decision to make or a goal to reach, but you don't know where to start? You come to the right place. Introducing Quick Money Chats with the Northern Shenandoah Valley Financial Education Program. Visit tinyurl.com backslash quickmoneychat to schedule a virtual chat with a staff member or trained volunteer. We won't tell you what to do, but we will give you the tools you need to choose wisely. And because Virginia Cooperative Extension is part of Virginia Tech and Virginia State, your land-grant universities, you can be sure that our information is credible and trustworthy. And you'll know that we aren't trying to sell you something. Maybe you want to improve your credit score or reduce your banking overdraft fees, or even figure out if you can afford to buy that car. Sorting through tons of information on the internet can be overwhelming and sometimes it can be hard to know who to trust. Schedule a quick money chat and get the information you need to take action. Go to tinyurl.com backslash quick money chat and get financial education personalized for you. Welcome back to the Valley today. I am your host, Janet Michael. Happy Monday. As you are listening to the show today, it is Fun Squad Monday with my Frederick County Parks and Rec crew. We are pre-recording on the Zoom screen with Tony Baker, Chris Conyer, and Sarah Young from Frederick County Parks and Rec. In the first segment, we talked about all the cool water-related things, aquatics that are happening. Pool is going to open Memorial Day Saturday, just so you know, in case you missed it the first segment. Now you know. So Chris, when we went to break, we were talking though about hiring. You know, Sarah needs lifeguards. Sarah needs some instructors and things for the aquatics program. You were talking about needing some people for the basic rec program. What What is the status right now of basic rec summer camps? Basic rec is open. Registration is going extremely well, actually. Um, it feels like a normal summer, finally. But yeah, it's going very well. So well that we slated to open six locations. We added a seventh. Um, a lot of the slots are near capacity. So I encourage parents that if they're looking for, you know, full day camp, you know, summer camp experience, um, you know, to don't hesitate to register. Um, Cause again, a lot of these locations are filling up. Now, as the guidelines have gotten better, um, you know, we'll have the luxury of potentially uh, adding slots to all of our locations. Of course, just like we mentioned earlier, that's contingent on, you know, we want to make sure that we're adequately staffed to be able to do so. Um, but the summer looks good. I mean, we'll be going to the pool. We'll be taking field trips. We've got a lot of great activities on site, you, you know, to get kids involved, all kinds of creative uh, games and activities. So it feels really good to sort of get back to, you know, what we do last summer, you know, it was the big hiccup. Um, so we're trying to get back to where we were in 2019, and it sounds like we're on the, the right track. 
But again, I want to encourage parents to get online and, and, you know, if they do need summer camp, because those slots, they dwindle every day. We, we opened uh, earlier this year and, you know, you get the first just crazy registration period and they all come in. And now they've been trickling in, but and a couple of the of the camps are currently full, a couple of the locations. But you know, I'll stand by the, the basic rec program. Camp Basic Rec is just an awesome summer camp. And I know my my kids all went through it. So I'm very excited to uh I was worried, you know, coming out of COVID, to be honest with you, but um it seems like we're on the right track. And I know our staff is super excited to to get out there and mix it up. And what ages is the basic rec summer camp for? It's school age, so kindergarten to fifth, and you can be a rising sixth grader. Um, so if you just graduated from fifth grade, then you're eligible to go to the uh, the basic rec program this summer. Or you're a parent that uh, has your kids aged out of that system and they're a senior in high school and you still want them to go to camp, they can get a job. Yeah, they can get a job. <laughs> definitely apply, come see us. Uh, we'll get you hooked up, especially if, you, if you're looking to do that in the future, you know, as a career. And then along with basic rec, holy cow, we have just a full summer of just all kinds of activities, new things. You know, I'll start with the sports. Uh, it's great to see uh, golf. I mean, listen to this list, golf, tennis, running, baseball, softball, volleyball, football, soccer, cheer, archery. I mean, and it's all in there. It's crazy. We're bringing uh, summer league basketball back. So, you know, the bad news of the winter where we couldn't run our standard youth basketball league, um, you know, because of the, the guidelines and, you know, safety first, all of those things. Summer league basketball is back. It's back. And it's, it's popular. Registration's going well. So if you want to get back on the court, I know it's not, you know, in the wintertime where a traditional basketball season is. But again, summer basketball is back. And then we have all of these great sports programs, whether it be a camp, or lessons, or a league, or uh, or uh, one day clinics. I mean, everything going on. It's just so so great to see you know the offerings that our staff has has put together. Um, so I'm very excited for the sports camps, and then on the other side, the community rec stuff. All of that. We have art camp. We brought back theater and drama this year. I have a couple options for that. We've added some dance classes. Getting back into a little hip hop dance. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can feel that. <laughs> Pottery, photography. Uh, we brought back our hiking series, which again, you know, hiking during the, the pandemic has become uh, very popular, increasingly popular um, as the pandemic wore on. So now we have a whole hiking series that um, starts here shortly. Actually, it's already started and it goes all the way through the summer into the fall. Um, so we're very excited about that. We have a new program esports what <laughs> hey, i know all about esports man joey g over at su is one of my besties i know oh. all about esports yes we have a uh, a company they're out um 50 west and they're in they have like a uh, a little arena and it's like you go in there and it's i mean it is the real deal and you log in and you and you do these different games I, i'm not mr gamer I mean, I, I wish I had my son here. He could he could fill you in. But at any rate, I feel like that's going to be a very popular trend. So we're in it. So we have a couple different options for that this summer, which is you know hugely uh, obviously po very popular uh, with the with the young people. So um, you know that's all. Tony, the you really need to get somebody in that position that's a little more excited <laughs> about their job and the things that you got going you on. Because he really just isn't. I, I'm not feeling it from Chris. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should have seen it when I went in that place. I was like, okay, lock me in. Uh, let, like, throw on the headphones. Let's get busy. <laughs> I, I was ready to rock. So yeah, the camp. And again, you can go to our website and check out the summer guide. There's, it's just, it's packed full of activities. I'm, I'm so pumped for our staff that, and I, I know I felt the energy from them just being able to program all this stuff and set up all this stuff for the summer. It's just exciting to be able to get back to some, you know, some of the same things that we're used to. Not, not just for the kids. There's also a lot of stuff in there too, for adults, Absolutely. Um, adult volleyball leagues and, um, you know, there's all the hiking series and everything. There's some good stuff in there for adults. So uh, for there's really there are things in there for all ages 
you know, not just, uh, just the kids, you know, people, we get lost in that. Cause that's <laughs> most of our, seems to be a lot of our programming and that's, you know, where a lot of the interest comes from, but yeah, the adults need to get on there and check it out too. Yeah, all you mean like Chris, the adult who huh? thinks yeah. he's a kid. Well, he tries to register for the kids stuff. We, we oftentimes have to, you know. <laughs> That's just because he's cheap. He just wants the lower rate. It doesn't have yeah. anything to do really with his age. <laughs> Slow afternoon like, means going out the basic rec and playing dodgeball or something. Yeah. I don't know, some sort of thing. <laughs> oh, I'll mix it up on the dodgeball court. <laughs> so then on the event side, we have, obviously we have our July 4th. You know, we'll be at Sharando Park for our um, fireworks display as we are every year. So that's kind of standard. And then one change, the youth triathlon will be coming back this year. You know, when we were planning it, it's, it's typically kicks off our summer in June. Um, when we were planning it, we decided to bump it to the end of the summer, just because we didn't want to run into guidelines and restrictions and all those things, not knowing when we were planning it that, um, you know, that we would get here and, and the restrictions would be a lot less. But the date on that is Sunday, August 8th. Again, that's one of my favorite events. Sharando Pool, ages 7 to 15. It is a real triathlon. I mean, it's legit. Like, we literally transform um, Sharando Pool and the park into a triathlon course. And, um, and these kids that come out are, you know, everything from the novice to the expert triathlete for kids. That they know what they're doing. I mean, let's just put it that way. It's, it's legit. Um, so I want to make sure that we get the word out on that, that, uh, you know, it's going to, that's going to be at the end of the summer instead of the beginning. So August 8th is the, uh, is the date on that. And then we have a brand new event. It's, it's for the, the avid cyclists. It's a bike tour, not a bike race. So uh, it's the CCAP benefit bike tour. We're partnering with CCAP, you know, all the proceeds from the bike tour will go directly to CCAP, but it's, it's essentially a bike tour of Frederick County. Um, so there's four different options, a 10 mile, you know, for the beginner, and then there's 30, 50, and 70. 70 is 40, 70. obviously the, the big dog. 70 goes to Strasburg, right? Yeah, 70 yeah. Is, is no joke, but it's really a cool concept. And we wanted to, you know, as you know, we do the running series, and now we're trying to branch out and get outside of just running. And this is the first event that focuses on, a, you know, fitness outside of just running, where it be cycling. So I'm very excited about this. And the partnership has been great. The registration has been going. I do want to say the first hundred people that register get like an awesome bike vest. So right now we're at, I think it was 85. So there's ah. only 15 slots left to get. And this thing is nice. I think it's like an $80 mm -hmm. uh, bike vest. Very, uh, very popular. But again, that's brand new. And we're excited to have that as well. Well, I'm glad you're doing all these running events and biking events. You just let me know when you start doing driving events, or sitting events, or, you know, something that's in my wheelhouse. Yeah, I'm planning a napathon. <laughs> yes, I am in. I am 100% in for a napathon. Me and you. We'll get after it. I don't think the our director would go for it, but hey, I, you know, think outside the box. <laughs> But yeah, no, we're, we're very excited for, for uh, the summer of 2021. It's going to be awesome. And I'm, as you can see, uh, I'm pretty enthusiastic. Yeah, you're just a little excited about it. Yeah, I, I get excited <laughs> off with this stuff. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm easy to please. But yeah, we've got a lot of cool stuff. And like, you know, like Tony said, just visit our website because it's not just for kids. It's for all ages. Right. And so like all the running stuff, the, um, the uh, youth try, the bike tour, and then even going on into the Battlefield Half Marathon, which is in November and Thanksgiving Day 5K. Uh, all that information can be found at runatthetop.net. That's runatthetop.net. Um, and you can register on that and find out, you know, more information about who, you know, benefits from all these different races and, and how to register. And then, and then summer catalog, the summer sure. programs, where do I go for that? The summer activity guide and links to to all of the summer camp programs and summer programs in general that can be found at fcprd.net. You know you can get to it uh, through the county website. So just you know search Frederick County Parks and Rec and you can fcprd.net. Though is the, uh, the URL to get to our website. And Sarah, that's where I go to get my tickets if I want to come spend some time at the pool or making fun of Chris getting a lesson at the pool. 
Yes, yes, that is correct. Yep, you can do everything from there. Um, I believe you can also do rentals as well from there. Swim lessons, everything. And when does the pool open again? Saturday, May 29th, 11 a.m. So uh, let's see, as people are listening to this on the 24th, it is this coming Saturday. <laughs> I know, it's coming. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I it's can't believe common. Memorial Day weekend is here. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad that it's here because I have decided to take a Valley Today break, a vac- Valley Today vacation, Memorial yeah. Day week. I have already pre-recorded all of my shows for that week. So I have, yeah, some vacation when you still have to do all the work that you would have to do if you were actually working. <laughs> I but think hey. you need to, to look up the definition of vacation. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> I'm not very good at any of that. That's just not my thing. But thank you guys for coming to hang out with me for a little bit and giving me the rundown on all things Frederick County Parks and Rec. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thanks for for having us. I will be back tomorrow. It is Tourism Tuesday. Justin Kearns is joining me on the Zoom screen. We have actually already recorded that show as well. We are going to be chatting with Daniel Kelly from the Flat Nine Jazz Club that has recently opened, is a pop-up jazz club opening in the Innovault space on the Old Town Walking Mall. So meet me back here tomorrow a few minutes afternoon. We'll get all of the details for that.